Greeting to all of you. Fengao is pleased to away accompany you in watching the news bulletin on 22 Hours channel. Our bulletin provides the last and most accurate news about the social and political situation as well as the last international news that occurred during the day. Now, let's take a look at the main information. Ladies and gentlemen, China's capital Beijing suffered its heaviest rainfall in 140 years, killing at least 20 people. According to the Chinese government, the city of Beijing recorded 744.8 mm 29.3 inches of rain from last weekend to Tuesday, marking its highest rainfall since 1891, based on data from Beijing Meteorological Department. Heavy rains occurred as China was hit by Typhoon Doksuri, which swept through the north of the country. According to a report by NASA's Earth Observatory, Doksuri made landfall in China's Xiamen and Chuanzhou and caused severe flooding in Beijing. The massive storm damaged infrastructure, forcing tens of thousands of people to evacuate. Typhoon Doksuri is rated as one of the worst storms to hit northern China in years, and torrential rains and flooding in Beijing have killed at least 20 people as of Monday. The internet and social media in China are flooded with images of heavy rains flooding the streets and cars being swept away by floodwaters. According to Reuters, as of Monday, heavy rain had damaged or affected 358 roads in Beijing. Heavy rain caused a section of Lukao Bridge in Fangdai District to collapse. In Beijing, more than 31,000 people have been evacuated from their homes, while work at more than 4,000 construction sites has been halted, nearly 20,000 buildings inspected for fear of damage, all tourist attractions in the city streets are closed. Notably, there is also a video online showing that even the Forbidden City, which has not been flooded in the past 600 years, has the deepest needy water. In addition to Beijing, extreme rain also hit northern China and areas along the Yellow River and Waihe River, state news agencies in here reported. Chinese President Xi Jinping has called for rigorous search and rescue efforts, as well as flood control and disaster relief. It is important to ensure medical treatment for the injured and to provide aid and comfort to the families of the deceased, she said. Even so, on Tuesday, Beijing lifted its red warning for flooding as water flows in major rivers fell below warning levels, Sinhu reported. Hebei province in northern China, which borders Beijing, has had to relocate more than 1.2 million people from flooded areas, including nearly 860,000 in floodplains, to help the capital escape flooding. The province is expected to need about a month for flood waters to recede. With the flood situation still serious in Beijing, Tianjin and Hebei, China decided to use eight flood retention zones, along with all 155 large and medium-sized reservoirs in the High River Basin to contain floods. In particular, Hebei province alone has activated 7 13th flood drainage zones to receive about 1.8 billion M3 of water, reducing flood pressure for Beijing capital and Tianjin city. As of Wednesday morning, according to data from the Hebei Flood and Drought Prevention Command, the province has displaced about 1.23 million people, of which the residents of the floodplain amounted to 857,200. Hebei has also mobilized more than 4,700 rescue teams with more than 100,000 people and sent more than 2,200 working groups to the affected areas. Due to the influence of Typhoon Doksuri, heavy rain lasted for nearly 144 hours in Hebei from 8 a.m. last Thursday to 8 a.m. On Tuesday, with the average rainfall across the province being more than 146 mm. The province has suffered a total rainfall of 27.5 billion M3, double the total capacity of all large and medium reservoirs in the province. The city of Shuju and Hebei, through which many rivers flow, and some areas used as floodplains, have been hit hard. In a program by China's Central Television CCTV, Li Na, deputy director of the Hebei Water Resources Department, said the average rainfall in Shuju was up to 398 mm on Tuesday night. About 300 million to 400 million cubic meters of flood water is expected to flow through Juju, making the city the most heavily flooded area after days of heavy rain. Since the rain has stopped, the water levels in the rivers are continuously decreasing, but this decline takes some time. Of the flood containment and containment areas that we have activated, some villages are flooded, but due to the relatively high foundation the water can recede quickly, 
the impact will be less. However, some areas are arable and need more time. The total time needed is about a month, Ms. Lina said. China has denied reports that the flooding in Shuizhou was caused by flood discharges as part of efforts to protect Beijing, stressing that the activation of floodplains is an overall consideration. Meanwhile, Hebei Provincial Party Committee Secretary Ni Yufeng said the locality needs to activate the flood holding zone to reduce flood pressure and act as a protective river for the capital. The Tianjin government near Beijing also activated a part of the flood relief zone in Jinghai County. More than 30,000 residents of 23 villages in the county were asked to relocate from Wednesday afternoon. After Typhoon Dok Suri made landfall last weekend, the Chinese capital recorded its heaviest rainfall in 140 years. Flooding has killed 11 people in Beijing and 9 people in Hebei. Meanwhile, China's central meteorological station reported that rainfall has shifted to the northeast of the country since Tuesday. The remnants of Typhoon Dok Suri are expected to bring heavy rains to the Jilin and Heilongjiang provinces there between Wednesday and Friday. Flood control authorities in the Heilongjiang cities of Harbin and Mudanjiang implemented emergency flood control measures on Wednesday and Thursday, such as closing schools and facilities. Training, pausing construction activities and outdoor activities. Currently, many areas in Heilongjiang are deeply submerged in water with the risk of losing crops. Typhoon Dok Suri and historic rain have caused people in Beijing to struggle in recent days. Affected by Super Typhoon Dok Suri, from 8 a.m. last Saturday, Shuizhou continuously rained, especially in the past few days, when the capital Beijing suffered a record rainfall in 140 years. The rivers in the city of Shuizhou, located southwest of Beijing, received a large amount of water from Beijing, turning Shuizhou. Become the most inundated area at the moment. A series of cars submerged in the sea, the road turned into a river. According to Reuters, Beijing and many nearby cities have experienced severe flooding after historic five-day heavy rain. The Beijing Meteorological Administration said it was the highest rainfall in 140 years. Specifically, the amount of rain from Typhoon Dok Suri that fell on Beijing in 40 hours was nearly equal to the average amount of rain for the whole month of July. The Economic Times also reported that the northern regions of China were put on red alert. Many cars were washed away, subway stations were submerged in water, hundreds of buses stopped working. Even, not only cars, many trucks do not escape the same situation. Many people recorded the scene of vehicles being swept away by the flood water, and many roads became real rivers. They shared that most of the cars parked in front of the house were swept away or severely damaged. From above, it is not difficult to see the long lines of cars submerged deep in the water after the historic rain. In addition, a video posted by CCTV also shows a road bridge in Beijing has been broken in two. But not only submerged in water, many vehicles were also seriously stuck. And yet, floods also damaged many power poles, affecting electricity supply and communication in some areas. On Tuesday, nearly 400 flights were cancelled, and hundreds were delayed at two of Beijing's airports. The Soedan News site also wrote that not only property damage, Typhoon Dok Suri also caused many difficulties for many people, especially car drivers. The Guardian published an image of a man trapped in a car and swept away by currents. Fortunately, he was rescued in time by the rescue team. The whole market was surrounded by flood water, hundreds of bookstores were flooded, Filled with rescue teams according to the Global Times on Wednesday, in the past two days, more than 1,000 rescue teams have been deployed to Track City, Shaohenhebei Province, northern China. While the situation has generally improved in the eastern parts of the city, flood waters have yet to recede in the western parts of Jiuzhu and some residents are still awaiting rescue efforts on Wednesday afternoon. From 8 a.m. last Saturday to 11 a.m. on Tuesday, Shuizhou received an average of 355.1 mm of rain, local officials said. As of 10 a.m. Tuesday, a total of 133,913 people from 146 villages in Shuizhou have been affected by the floods, affecting an area of 225.38 square kilometers. Tuesday afternoon, the water supply was cut off across the city and some areas of the city lost power. As of Tuesday afternoon, 125,100 people from 124 villages in Jiuzhou had been evacuated to safety. 
Shuiju organized 28 emergency rescue teams, totaling 8,755 people to cooperate with professional rescue teams, including China's Blue Sky Rescue Team. After receiving information calling for support from Track Chow, rescue teams immediately went to rescue people in flood areas. The lifeboat entered a large market with a scene, murky water, plastic bags and bottles floating on the water. Many roadside restaurant troops undulated across the water level, roadside cars were completely submerged in flood water, lifeboats staggered many times because they missed the roofs of cars. Along the way to the market, people cried for help, some people sat by the window, some people were on the roof, some people were on the roof of a truck. Shuizhou is an important logistics center. There are hundreds of bookstores of publishers in the city, and almost all of these stores have been flooded. At least several million books were wet due to the floods. The transshipment warehouses of some logistics groups in Shuizhou were also affected, according to the Global Times. On Wednesday, Local media reported that heavy rains caused by Typhoon Doksuri flooded a logistics area in the city that is home to nearly 100 book companies. Countless wet books and damaged equipment. Tu Fuang and Hanjai residential area with 458 households was severely flooded. On Monday, after the garage collapsed, a hole was formed about 100 meters squared wide, 4-5 meter deep. On Tuesday, China's Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Emergency Management said the country had allocated 110 million yuan, about $15.43 million, to support flood prevention and disaster relief work in the capital, Beijing capital, Tianjin city and Hebei province. On the fourth day, the Ministry of Organization of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China continued to announce the allocation of 44 million yuan, about 6.17 million US dollars, to support flood control and disaster relief work in the country. Area. Our newsletter for today is here to end. Please leave any feedback below in the comments. If you find it interesting, give us a like, comment, share and press the bell to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and see you soon. We sincerely thank you all for your attention and view share. Please like, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to receive the fastest and most accurate news updates from 22 hours channel. Goodbye and see you in the next video.